da 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 I would say going into this that, at least on a first glance, if my impression is correct, Marvista Entertainment has slightly updated their marketing strategy, which I've said probably needs an update for an o maybe an overhaul, you could say, for quite some time. But it's nice to perhaps see some improvement, although there's still there's still room for growth. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with the name Marvista Entertainment, I'm sure for those of you who follow this channel, you're well aware of them. They're a popular TV distribution company, so a lot of their films you might see appear on the Lifetime Network. I've seen it, or, or, again, all the broadcast stuff. I tend to watch their films on streaming. Tubi's got a wide collection. In fact, Tubi is actually uh, releasing this one, I would imagine, exclusively. I don't know for sure, but the trailer came out from them. But Marvista Entertainment, they you know, they do a broad range of content. I've seen uh, thrillers from them. I think this is another thriller as well. But I've also seen rom-coms, romance dramas, uh, holiday releases, Christmas movies especially. Maybe some other ones that uh, flow into other subsets of family brand films. That's another big one for them. But I do, you know, I, I've liked what I've seen from them in terms of you know, the, uh, the narratives to their stories. I think they're, they at least have good pitches to them going in with the trailers. But the problem with Marvista is, again, they don't know how to market properly. I don't know why they keep making this mistake. I mean, it's funny to talk about, but this is also the studio that I recognize infamously as the company that continues, despite having many other examples out there of companies in terms of, well, we don't market our, our film this way. Marvista will always spoil their trailers. And part of it might be because, again, they release the trailers on their main YouTube channel late, um, post-release. So maybe we're getting a bit of an exception here. Again, I don't know. But typically when you watch one of their trailers, they'll take like a 90-minute movie on average, you know, for like TV movie length, and they'll chalk it down to about three minutes. So you'll get all the plot twists, the overall narrative really going from the beginning to the end. And it's a simplified way of watching the film where ideally you'd be like, well, why wouldn't you just leave these details in the, in the movie and then give me more reason to watch? Rather than just watch your trailer and be like, I've already seen the movie now. <laughs> That's kind of, again, what's happening, though, with them. It, this is on a repeat basis. It's been that way for at least the last couple of years. But this trailer for Girls Get Away Gone Wrong, I like that name quite a bit. A lot of Gs there, a lot of alliteration. Um, it's released, uh, the trailer came out from the Tubi YouTube channel, so I'm guessing this isn't exclusive to them. Now, IMDb says that this released in 2021, although it doesn't give any specifics beyond that. So I don't know if it's debuted on a different channel previously. Maybe that's in the production company names. Um, but it seems like a Tubi exclusive. Yeah, it, it says at least on the distributors, Tubi TV for 2021. Maybe, maybe this is just getting advertised late. But then you would know maybe the day that it released. I don't know, it's kind of off. But either way, I believe this is a Tubi exclusive. And the name, you know, does sound familiar to some of their films, at least I've seen on the past. Uh, Fate, wasn't it Fatal Getaway that was one of theirs? We also had like four girls who went to some island not island, but some sort of like vacation home, and then the guy that was there proved to be bad. I don't know if that's what's happening here. I haven't looked at it in detail. Actually, let's take a look at that first. We're going to go ahead and uh, we'll watch the trailer in a minute, but this is what it says according to the synopsis via IMDb. A trio of close friends stay at a luxury hotel and get caught up in the mystery of why an ex-best friend from college fell from a balcony. Okay, so it's kind of like a murder mystery. Oh, that's an interesting story. Um... Well, I like the sounds out. Even if maybe some of the the introductory notes on that synopsis again, fatal getaway. I'm like, well, the the vacation home retreat. Maybe it's like spring break situation. Because these girls seem pretty young. Maybe college friends. I'm not exactly sure. Um, or maybe just young young adult women. I'm, I I don't know. But I like the mystery layer. You know, why did this girl fall from the balcony? And that's somebody that we knew. Um, I have my suspicions of where it could go, knowing this is a Marvista movie, and judging by how I've watched their trailers before, I wouldn't be surprised if they end up spoiling things. But this isn't an official Marvista Entertainment YouTube channel trailer release, which is why I'm sitting there thinking maybe we've improved a little bit. Either way, it seems, I'm assuming this is coming out in advance of the release date, so at the very least they've improved on that. Maybe you'll see this eventually pop up on the Marvista channel, in which case we'll probably talk about it again if I hadn't seen it yet. We're going to go ahead and watch the uh, main trailer, just a second together, and then we'll discuss it more You know, following that. Without further ado, here we go. Let's see if some of the changes I'm seeing, perhaps, that I've we've been calling out Marvista for a long time for. I mean, part of me is like, I don't want to see them change. It keeps giving me a funny thing to talk about with the studio, but... Again, I think it would help the studio and the overall reach of the movie if you just learn to market more effectively. <laughs> Here we go. Let's take a look at this. I'm not the only one to acknowledge this, by the way. I've looked I at their comment sections. A weekend that you are never gonna forget. Oh wow! Cheers. Cheers. Hey, I like the feel of the movie going in. 
Definitely feels like, you know, a vacation retreat. What happened last night? Why can't I remember anything? A dead body was found near the pool early this morning. Word on the street is that it's Kate Alessa. Arcade? If it wasn't suicide, then it was a homicide. And, and we were the only people in our suite this morning. Did she go I with like them? He was gonna say if they if, if she did go with them, the delivery seems a bit off. Like you think they'd be more emotional. Time in the process. I mean, you I think there would be tears streaming down. You may not like what you remember. Is that a detective? There is a viral video going around of you screaming at Kate. I don't even remember any of that. You really should be talking to those three friends of hers. They so it seems again there's a bit of a time gap. I've learned that the law does Both parties not care separated. about who is guilty. It's just who is easiest to convict, and that is us. Should we get a lawyer? No. The only thing we're getting is eggs and bacon. Okay, chill out. Stop acting weird. <laughs> Look who's talking. Hopefully it doesn't go too far, but you know, you're like, well, these, you know, Why do you keep lying? girls we retreats, when you see the shirtless guys, you're like, oh yeah, I know where this is you going to go. your birthday weekend so far? You know, besides the, uh, you know. Well, that was a very drastic fall. Um, not to make light, I mean, that's a, it'd be a, that's a horrific, you know, tragic circumstance. That was much better marketed, though. Now, see, this is why, this is how I want to feel, you know, watching a, a thriller from our Vista. I want to go in feeling like, okay, you've given me reason to watch based on the trailer, right? The impression gives me a good feel. Looks like a, you know, high energy thriller. I like the mystery component. It seems fun, you know, light energy. The the uh, personalities as well of the lead uh, cast members, they provide a good entrance point in terms of making me feel like, you know, the film's going to be, you know, a fun watch. And there were no spoilers, <laughs> for the most part. At the very least, again, they gave you, like, the ground details. much uh, Not much more than what they had in the synopsis. So, at the very least, I feel a little better... Um, I, I feel that more tact has been exercised here in regard to, okay, we don't disclose all the details. And you you watching the trailer, this is only a brief introduction. Now, because our trailer was so effective in marketing the movie, you want to go watch. And it's a very accessible film to watch. As I said, this is going to be on Tubi. That will be streaming for free with ads. But... Yeah, I, I would definitely check this out. I mean, again, it, it just, it, it's a nice, it's nice to have a different feel. Now, hopefully Marvista learns from this and says, okay, this is how we need to market our movies on our main channel, right? <laughs> because if I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to assume they're going to put this up later. I just, uh, uh, maybe they will, because I don't know. Because this didn't debut on a TV network. Maybe they'll avoid that, because um, this is on the Tubi channel instead. If they do put it on YouTube post-release, which is, again, it's, it, it's typical for them, it's still very odd. I would hope that they'd learn from us and say, okay, we need to exercise a little more restraint for perhaps people who may not be on broadcast TV anymore. They might follow streaming. That might be their point of access. So, therefore, we remain tight-lipped on certain plot developments. <laughs> I guess we'll see with time and with more more Vista movies. But, you know, will this lesson be at least, uh, uh, well, maybe two B's distribution rights in regard to how they market this. But, um... At the very least, you know, there's some lessons learned in that, well, maybe it's just for Tubi. Maybe Tubi's the one in this case, like, well, we know how to market our movies. That's not how Marvista does it. But we have your film, so we'll do you a solid. <laughs> I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts of Girls Get Away Gone Wrong? I mean, I like it. Again, some familiar elements to past Marvista releases. But watching this trailer, I feel more reason to watch, right? I don't feel like, oh, I've just watched, you know, a, a shortened form of the story or in, like a vignette structure. Thank you so much for watching this video. Before you bounce, feel free to drop a like and comment, subscribe to this channel with a ding on the bell, and share this video with your friends. And consider checking out the description here. There you'll find links to my other channels, as well as addresses to my other social media accounts and ways you can help support my work if you feel so inclined. May God bless you, and looking forward to when our paths cross again.